ain't gonna hold you no intro another disclaimer i'm probably gonna be hating a lot this anime was actually well let me not say anime this movie was actually kind of decently bad so yeah i'm gonna hate again i always enjoy watching bad anime and shit so i can like shit fest on it later bro let me give you a quick little background basically this is just one of the generic horror movies when it's just a group of dumb niggas messing with dead bodies and shit and then a curse comes back and kills them all just a group of dumb nuts bro have you not watched a single movie a day in your life but another thing who the fuck keeps coffins at school this isn't like the janitor's closet or some or the storage closet why are these here plot convenience i know y'all couldn't have put this in like a tomb or a graveyard or something nah niggas just gonna put them in a storage closet whatever like i said this dumb nigga was searching through the bitch body literally had her hand in her chest <laughs> literally had her hand in her chest cavity and pulled a gem out anyways i'm gonna make quick work of this shit because um <laughs> there's nothing in this shit for me to talk about it's literally just niggas dying there's no type of plot well i guess there is like minimal but i'm speed blitzing bro i'm telling you obviously both the dead girls got resurrected because you know niggas messed with their tombs and shit and then a janitor walked in you know because he, he's hearing a ruckus and shit and then the bitch just kills the nigga for no reason bro like he wasn't even part of the group that stole their shit like rp bro he's the only nigga in this anime that died that didn't deserve it oh everybody else though hell yeah they deserve it then right after that the two girls pull up on one of the niggas that stole the shit just in a cool disguise because you know they have the power to transform into the niggas that kill or like only the short blonde one i won't lie this one didn't deserve to die either bro this nigga did not deserve to die they literally killed this nigga on accident i guess basically the nigga thought the bitch was bad and he was like hey can you just flick me up with her because you know she bad or whatever he put his hand on her shoulder because you know that's kind of what you do when you're taking pictures and then the bitch just rips his arm off no prompted thing and then this nigga dead stands there for a good two minutes not understanding what the fuck is going on i guess it's shock but holy fuck my nigga you had your arm ripped off you're just sitting there you're dumb as fuck i ain't gonna lie but then he starts running away after like a cool five minutes of niggas panning the camera back and forth. He actually walks past this bitch right here. Honestly, this bitch right here has zero fucking spatial awareness. Literally, he's right there bleeding out, yelling for help, and she's walking right past. I know you're on the phone, but there's no way you can't hear shit because you have one ear open. If you had headphones, maybe because both of your ears are plugged in, but you have an ear out. Where is your never mind bro fuck all that it's whatever anyways nigga gets cooked after that after that this nigga comes to the bitch who stole the gym's crib i don't remember no one's name so i'm just gonna have to like define them by character traits i'm gonna call this nigga like spike spiegel because he look he rocked that no disrespect on, my, on that boy spike though this nigga's a loser spike a real nigga and then this bitch i'm just gonna call her the gym thief because she's the one who stole the gym long story short uh the bitch that stole the gym was working with another nigga this nigga found out and then he tried to get on some freak shit with her for like revenge or whatever i don't know it was pretty weird but then they hear a scream because obviously someone found a body this time i don't know how that bitch from earlier didn't notice the nigga got marked off but yeah he got marked off you know ain't gonna lie this is one of the most realistic crime faces i've seen in a minute okay let me not lie like that but in anime they rarely ever show the fucking nose wrinkle when niggas cry I haven't talked about them, but these two bitches right here, the dead bitches, I actually hate them niggas, bro. I don't know. They just kind of like act like the victims in this situation. Yes, do study your gym. Ask for it back. If they attack you, boom, you kill them. But the dude with the camera and the janitor, they did not need to die, bro. I'm telling you, they did not need to die. Y'all just out here killing innocent people. Whatever. All the other people decide to group up in a room because, you know, niggas found out niggas getting murked off now. Then out of nowhere, bitch cracked through the window. Ain't gonna lie, this bitch right here, she be doing like karate and shit. She can, she can box, but hell, she is stupid, bro. That's the same girl who just walked past the nigga dying and shit. I won't lie though, she putting up a good fight, like they was scrapping for a good minute. And basically, she just tells them niggas like, go on without her, she'll hold them back. I don't know why she thought she had the strength to do that, but alright. But then they run into the other dead girl. So this Spike Spiegel looking ass nigga takes the gym and says, hey, 
I'll give you your gym back. Spare me. You can kill these niggas. That, that's literally just a line setting yourself up for death, bro. You deserved it too. Nigga literally got his head crushed by a fucking toilet that was thrown. Top 10 worst ways to die. I ain't gonna lie. Literally, your reputation is done. You went out like a bitch. And you had a toilet thrown at you. Whatever. The girl with the gym ended up sneaking behind the other dead girl. How's the situation? Niggas is trying to negotiate and shit. You know, niggas stop boxing. You know, shit is, you know, getting calm and shit. You know, niggas are starting to listen to reason. And then the dumb kung fu bitch want to just kick her. Talking about, I spotted an opening. Nigga, you just ruined every type of negotiation that was possible. And if you were going to sneak the nigga, go for a killing move. You're just trying to kick the nigga in the back. What type of shit do you think this is? I won't lie, animation in this whole anime is ass. But like, when she was scrapping, they put all the budget into that because ain't gonna lie, she was scrapping. Also, while that was going on, we got to see like this doctor nigga and some other girl forgot her name. Basically, that's the nigga that gym bitch was working with. Gym bitch gave the doctor the gym and basically the gym just like gives them immortality and shit like that. Anyways, back to karate bitch who was boxing. Ain't gonna lie, I was low-key rooting for her because she was scrapping for a good minute. But yeah, she gets killed pretty fucking gruesomely. I won't lie. She easily had one of the most fucking gory deaths in this whole anime. Anyways, they took the other girl hostage. But the bitch finds her pretty easily. But obviously it was just a trap. Literally burnt the hoe alive. Obviously she ain't dead though. With some cool surgery and the body transplant, she's good now. I don't know why these niggas just happen to have spare bodies around, but okay. I won't lie, bro. A lot of the things that be happening in this is just straight plot convenience because none of this shit makes sense. Why are there tombs in a school that have been unchecked for many of years because these bitches have been slept for a hundred years and them tombs just happen to be chilling there for that long? And there also happen to be spare bodies in them tombs at the same time? Definitely don't believe that. And niggas gonna say, oh, no, nah, it's just anime. I'm gonna say, fuck no, bro. Because at least in a good amount of good shows, they at least add subtle details. They ain't got to do a whole five minute explanation. But, you know, at least they would place the tomb in like a pyramid or some or a crypt. Nah, the shit's just in the school storage room. Nigga, what? Whatever. Basically, the doctor nigga and then gym bitch and then one other bitch who doesn't really matter. They all like grouped up, but it's cool. Because the gym bitch gets kidnapped like in five more seconds. I can't show the scene when they find her while she was kidnapped because she was butt naked. Let's just say she died. But where's the surprise there? Everyone died. I told you. I already spoiled it. Long story short, skipped a few minor details. This dumb bitch gets kidnapped again. This nigga kills her. Or at least we thought she died. Because she gets revived on some bullshit. Wish she did die though. Also, this bitch right here in the black hair can scrap. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure she also had like uh, the mortal gem implanted in her. So now she's like strong as them niggas too. Also, her and her brother are on some freaky shit. But it's cool because she betrays the nigga and kills him right after. Talking about some will be together eternally. I don't know. Just some weird shit. Anyways, get to what we cared about. Them hoes start scrapping. I ain't gonna lie, that bitch getting her ass beat. And then these niggas started hooping out of nowhere. I can't tell you where the ply went with that, but they was hooping. Anyways, after a little brain damage and some boxing and niggas getting staked into the ground, that's actually brutal. Then the bitch drops a bell on the hoe. Boom, fight is over. Dead girls live. I hate it. I wish they died. Literally nothing of importance happened in this whole hour of watching. I couldn't tell you one moment I was like, oh, I fuck with it this hard. Like nothing was cool. I mean, I guess when them niggas was hooping for like a good minute, I fucked with that. But besides that, bro, this whole movie ain't shit. Movie ended on some chill shit niggas talking about. I don't I don't even know what they was talking about, bro. Some like Disney movie ending bullshit, bro. You know what I'm talking about. That being said, what was this? Studio like Spider or something? Nah, it was Studio Stingray. You niggas, quit. That's all, that's all I got to say to you. Quit.